Okay, 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 welcome to game seven, risk meta settings. Overall on this count we are seven nine. This game seven games we're showing. Uh we today we have a lobby everyone else has premium. So we're expecting a higher level lobby. We don't know yet. We are in the five seat, we're playing as blue. We have an interesting Spain hold, probably from turn one. What with that lizard down in Valencia. Uh, we go ahead of black, so black's three attacking my cap isn't a problem. The only problem would be green. Italy is also blocked off, so North Africa kind of only can go this way. Capital on this territory is strong. Very choky through Europe. And red, if they were to cap there, would be pretty strong too. We don't expect anyone to cap behind us. Red caps London. Okay, that's what everyone loves to call the new corner, and I am inclined to agree with them. Um, hmm. If there is a cap in the north up here, that's then a two-way guard on the whole new corner. Which a two-point cap guard could be scary. Green, kind of middle of nowhere there. That's not a very useful cap. Although if red had neighbour capped, it becomes a lot stronger. However, they didn't. Could also be one below them, but you can still get around that very easily. White caps in the worst place they could have. That's good for us. And so much for the lack of noob in this game. At least with those cap placements, you never are sure. We've seen experts place middle of nowhere. We've seen novices with perfect caps. We've seen masters trying to block off nothing. So we're not going to judge anything yet. Green has a good claim to this plus eight in Eastern Europe, if you haven't seen bonuses before. It has a solid claim. Uh, red, uh, green has a solid claim there. Yeah. I like your colours. Um, orange has stayed the hell away from New Corner there. They could have had a Scandinavia take turn on, but they've decided that it's probably best not to. Based on these cat positions, we're going to have two very early enemies. We're going to have Red, who's going to be fighting with White also. Red's kind of in the middle of two different caps here. And we're going to have Green just kind of on the border there. However, they're not going to be able to hold the Central Europe bonus. Red takes UK. Do they take Iceland too? They're going to have a tough time. Red's using sliders, we notice that. So even though they're in a new corner, they know how sliders work. Do we see two more attacks? They just moved back on cap. So Iceland is not taken. But they hold the UK can be broken. I'm not going to break. But I... I'm... I have a very simple turn one here. Put everything on this two. We take boosh, 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 boosh. Stack on the capital. Because that's a lovely plus four with a single cap guard. It's a lovely strong early game. That's what we're looking for. We've seen this win a lot of times. You think, how the hell does a player want from that? Strong cap guard. Getting troops from turn one. Green takes away from their cap. I think we saw them move fast as well. Could be interesting. Now, what do we see white do? White, I, if I'm paying more attention, I notice these things, but white, I do believe, was it had a two up here. So they break. Lovely. That's perfect for us. And they come and they hit my... They, they play a 4v2. That is a 75% chance in balance blitz. Loses one true, we'll live. I don't mind white being strong, because white's going to help us kill red. The most important part there, though, was that white broke red. It's much more important than anything else. So we, in the fifth seat, with less than 12 territories, we're going to get seven troops. Nine stack coming around. Let's see what we can do. If we don't take this bonus, then we have awful life. We will, of course, be using our sliders. No loss. No loss. Perfect so far. Well, we lose that, but we've guaranteed the take. And we have a six cap guard. We also note that white did not open red's cap.
So we want to across the top. Red's cap is still only pointing down at us. So red has a harder time retaliating. Black races troops in West Africa. Interesting. Hits into uh, hits outwards. Okay. It might be a North Africa take. If that's the case, we have a stronger bonus than them. We are very happy going into turn two. Who holds what? Red cannot be holding this. Someone could be holding Baltic. Uh, White could be holding Scandinavia and might get hit by red. We know that red is not holding. Hmm. That's a very weird move. So we noticed there that black moved three troops out of that territory in West Africa. Now, you can spawn with fours, but as you can see from this game, it is rare. We spawn with 20 troops on 12 territories. Getting four troops on one territory is uncommon. However, if he capped there and moved, what, moved those three off it, that is plausible. Black is not close to us. We would need five extra troops here, so it's not unheard of. We're going to see red attack upwards. It's the first time it's a slide. Oh, it's, oh wow, okay, he's there as well. The split Italy. The split Italy game. Hits my one. Okay, red holds Italy then, because I'm assuming he has Sicily here. Um, not a big fan. White sees it happening though. And White has already declared them as an enemy. Green goes down. Green takes Alps turn two. Okay. Orange is unhappy with that. This is why you don't emote. Orange, we saw Green lose two troops. It could have been a cap, it would have been a very weakly kind of cap. I think Orange might have just started with three and just didn't go there. We shall see. Uh, white started with nine. White held. I think White is probably my biggest danger here holding Scandinavia. Oh, I was looking down there. Remember where people are. He's got to be my friend for now. I hope he's my friend. Although I think my turn to involve some searching. He just took a 3v1. Interesting. So we're getting 10. We need a 6 down here to hit this 4, so we get a 9v4, 100%. Because I am in I think this might be Black Black's capital. So I'm going to put 4 troops on my capital to make it a 10 guard. And I'm going to do some searching. It was not. That's fine too. He just spawned. Let's just declare him as an enemy and get on with it then. If he holds, he holds. If he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't hold North Africa. He's going to have a tough time hitting that five. Why wouldn't you move those troops into this bonus anyway? That makes... Why would you try... You can't hold here. You Because someone could attack in from the north. Surprisingly not a capital. You just spawned with four troops there. Do wonder where black is. White evidently did not break red in Italy. Orange still holds. I so orange must be the person in Bolton. Baltic. Jesus. How do I always do that? That's the only other bonus that can be taken here. We know white has Scandinavia. We know it's not New Corner. We saw Green just take this and he still has the nine troops. Evidently, he is not in North Africa or s Italy. Or split Italy. 
do we see it attack out? Does it go into a ring? In the attack screen, he has to open the capital from this side. Someone from below can hit it and not open the cap. Which might be me in the late game, we shall see. Nine. Red. Red holds the splitterly. How does white take this? We need to team up with white this game. We need to take down red. He has a 12 cap. Now is this the turn where he works on? No, he hits out, hits white. Okay, that's a smart move. He hits out, he hits white. And it appears that white opened him up from the north as well. That's not smart from white. Why would you open his cap? Okay. Moves eight back on. That's still a very strong cap. Green has 11. So green held out, so he's got a few extra territories. So, if it's not out of the way, we can be looking to hurt a bit of green. How many troops do we think that red will have on Sicily here? That's our easiest method of breaking. It doesn't involve us revealing our position or anything like that. It's a very strong one. Is Green looking for the plus eight? No. White still holds Scandinavia. As well as 12 territories. Hmm. Now I know we have a possible easy route going through this one instead. I think I might turn on my turn. I might be hitting through this three as well. Because whatever I do, unless I have enough on the exterior, I might just be hit out anyway. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. How many troops are we gonna de dedicate to breaking red? We need to break red here, otherwise he stays on a par with us strength wise. We need him weaker than us. White is unlikely to let him hold anything Britain or Iceland. I have to be the one to break him down south if we want to win the war. Okay, um, we have 11 troops. How many do you want to dedicate to this? I will hit through that three. I think he's going to have quite a few. Maybe something like that. Maybe even one more. We are going to hit through the three. He only has a three on there. That's good. And because we still left ourselves a way out as well, whereas the other way round, we wouldn't be leaving ourselves a way out of this corner. We still have a way out. So that's clearly going to annoy Red. But all he can do, especially this turn, is fire a 4 trade at us, possibly a 6 if Orange decides, but I think Orange is a good player. Everyone's still holding their capital. Orange does decide to trade the 4. How interesting. So we can now fire the 6 trade, but it should be at a maximum of 11 or 12, depending on red territories. Hello 19. Wipes black out of the corner. Only five come a There's nine of me here. Sup. Now obviously orange doesn't orange should know about my cap over here. Orange breaks green. Okay. Interesting. So, all Orange has done there is annoy people. Now, Red takes me out of here. Red breaks me out. He hits a black territory. Why are you doing to put into your cap? Okay. Takes out of Italy because you know he can't rehold. Didn't get else no. Good. Green with the six troops. Red also doesn't open my cap, even though it already is open. He doesn't want to see it. 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, we can assume, we know there are a lot of troops on this territory here. However, we assume they're from the capital, which is like Greece. Greenly takes. Does he break? He doesn't. So I think this I think Greece is Orange's capital. That's where I'm gonna. That's where I guess it is for now. Might be up to eleven. Us. They hold Iceland. It's a lot of external territories. If that's not holding Iceland, I think he held Iceland. Scandinavia plus the cap is eight. Plus the default three. So is eight. Behind me, a few eleven troops. Go and hit the red exterior. I wanted that bonus. Hmm. Just has six in that corner. Okay. Um. Okay. So I think this stack here has moved back onto the cap. He also set a different stack to break. I think I'm fine hitting through to here. Which doesn't need any extra troops. I'm going to just put most of them on my cap. Make it up to a 23, I think. I have a couple down here. I'm going to hit this stack. We lost three, that's not great. So we did move that stack back as we thought. So now if red sets on four, you'll still only be taking the six. How trade we need it? Yeah, you'll still only be taking the six. And it doesn't. It, yeah. Six trade plus five on the cap. Twenty-six coming down has to hit through a two. Twenty-three is not doing that. It's a zero percent chance on the bits on my cap, so I'm happy there. How does Orange take me hitting his North Africa? Don't think he had this side cleared out. We saw that come through, so I don't think he's going to be too mad. The only part he would be mad at is me hitting his four up here, but it's kind of on him. I'm interested to see what White is planning on with these six troops behind me. Because I could have taken him out of the, that corner and I didn't. And I might be punished for that too. We shall see. Orange, we don't see any of that turn, but we also do see that it wasn't hitting green again. I think the 17 cap kind of scared him off it, if we're honest. Purple takes a 6v3. Does he take it on the north of France or on green? He takes it on green, he cuts himself off from the rest of the board. That's fine, you see my cap? It's a lovely 23 stack, so his cap can still hit me. And he has 20 on it, so we're going to buff it up again. That's fine. I'm going to buff up but just a little bit more as well because you can see it. However, that cap can only hit me and nothing else. I can hit a black six, but that doesn't really count. Green shows up his borders now because he does not have the trust with orange. Nine troops up there. He wants another bonus. Two minutes. Oh, no, he goes up. Breaks white. What's happening here? We don't see the dice go again. Just hit it once. Okay. There's four in that we don't see moving, probably for this right next to it. White was not paying attention. Twelve. Must be holding Iceland. We have no way of getting them to help us here. And we're going to start needing a second bonus. Knight, what are you doing with those troops down there? What are they there for? 
Red can see them going in. That's not a sneaky play. We're going into the fight, and we're going into the main trading turns. Let's see what happens. I think my turn is self-explanatory. I think I make myself strong enough where orange can't reasonably hit through this. He gets 9 troops. There we go, 10 be 11. 10 be 10. Because this is also where my card is. And that's fine. I probably should have moved the 2 down on my fortify there. It's kind of doing nothing off cap. Move point, hopefully. Like he still plays you on that extremity that everyone knows about. Don't really understand that play. The problem with that, ah, well, that makes much more sense with that play actually. I was going to say the problem with just putting troops that aren't on your capital is that your capital <laughs> is just weaker because of it. This makes finding black's capital an absolute priority. Because he clearly still has it. You see the leader is one out of six. Everyone has their own caps. And we know where everyone's is apart from where Black's is. We see that four of them, kind of just here in Northern Europe, we have myself, red and green, white as well in Denmark. And we suspect orange is in Greece. You don't know that yet, but we suspect orange is in Greece. Orange is doing a lot of attacking here. Okay, doesn't have enough troops to take Orient this turn. Ah, but he took a capital. That's good news for us. Can we kill Black? We saw, so Black's capital, we saw the troops moving in, we suspect Black's capital is down here. We weren't looking in top left, so we don't know. I should have been looking in top left, so I did know, but I didn't. Red turns my lights off. Eight in his cap. No. He takes a guaranteed hit. Because he doesn't fancy getting a 93%. Unlike some people. It's a 30 cap for red. Green still getting 10. How does he take red putting in troops next to him? Not likely. Green obviously can't see our cat, so he doesn't know it's a little bit weaker, but that's not a problem. He forgot he had to trade on five. And it's now coincidentally the same size. I guess not that much of a coincidence though. He lost four. Wow. A lot of big stacks. White is still holding Iceland. How is Red letting them hold? It must be a two point guard. Not to mention the guard here. And Red hasn't tried to take Britain again. So weird. There's no other bonus that White can be in. And holding. We know that this is orange. We know that this is green. We know that this is a mess. We know that White has this plus three anyway. How is White holding Iceland? With enough territories as well. He's getting 12, right? And he's got 15 territories too. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Well, that'll help for the territories. That applies to us that Green either move through him or move down. We don't really care. Okay. We get a 12 trade. We don't get any bonuses. Oh, well. We do not need to add to cat because we're the same size as red. Mm, although we can add a few, can't hurt. We are, however, mainly invested in down here. We got a slider. We see the capital, thank you very much. And we see this capital too, which we thought must be here. Now, is this enough for the kill? Good. We 
thought that would be the kill, and it was. It's very good. Now we get some bonus troops. We're getting guaranteed set next turn. Do we just clean out these people behind us? White can't retaliate? Yeah. Not great troops, not great rules. But it don't matter. Um, I would rather shore up the capital. Okay, we've now put ourselves out of line with everyone else's ca uh, cards. Orange is clearly going to break. He's not happy that I took his capital. But he's going the other way. So he's on a breaking tour. Is he on a taking tour? Remember, this is his cap stack, and we can hit the cap. We can come around this way. He's going to have a maximum of 10. He, we're guaranteed a trade. He's manualing the 7v2. And then he gives up. This makes no sense. Okay, so he has a 12 cap. And we're getting at least the 20. We're going to have about 40 troops on this cap to hit a 12. Red does trade. That's a bit scary. However, even though we know Red is our enemy, we haven't done anything to him yet. We hit a 1 down here, and we well, we did break him. You could argue that's something. But it would appear that he is more annoyed at White, which I think he should be. Not least because it helps us. Oh, he's moving to guard as well. Okay, so that to me says he's taken both uh, both bonuses and he's guarding on Scotland with a 10 stack, plus whatever he had left over. Green gets the 10. Thank God for this, by the way. The, the battle log. Thank God for the battle log. I wouldn't have a damn clue what was happening. Red gets... Green gets 25. Okay. This makes my play on yellow even stronger. Because now... Instead of having an extra 20 troops, I have an extra 30 troops. And it doesn't cost me anything. So I'm getting 10 troops basically just for free here. Can we kill Orange? He's going to have 4 cards. We, if we're looking to kill in turn, this is the kind of player we need to do it on. Um, let's think. Where else can Orange be? Apart from in the bits that we see. Can't be here. There's a bonus. Can't be here. Red held that bonus. He can't be there. Could be Netherlands. We haven't technically seen Netherlands. Can't be up here. Can't be along there. Can't be in here. So Orange has no proper exterior positions. Unless he's in the Netherlands. Or unless he's in here somewhere. is my go. We get 15 troops plus our 30 trade. Uh, we get extra from Brittany. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, I think that should be enough for those. We shall see. That one. And he's only got four on cat. What is this guy doing? Just interested in what's over here, if I'm honest. Okay, good. That's useful. Okay, now we're going to use this set. Extra troops in Egypt, lovely. Thank you for that. We're going to use that to build up that cap down here. It's now a 28. And we have a perfect three point cap guard. Look at that. Uh, we're going to add a couple of troops in here just because we can take Orient as well. And then the rest are going to go on my Spain home cap. We're going to take you, take you. And we don't care about holding Orient this turn. So yeah, we, have, we do have set on four. Useful. Uh, Okay, we have set on four. If, you, if white doesn't set, he's in danger. Because that would be five cards, that's more than worth it. He also broke red right down. Um, that's one thing we didn't look at. Come on. 
Did we really attack that much last turn? Come on. Scroll. Okay, white did get broken. We thought so. We expected white to... Oh, wait, 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 no. I didn't think so. That's interesting. White got broken. Okay. This game is falling into place now. Red's rolling 1v1s. No, he's slidering. He's rolling 2v1s. <laughs> How many's he got for his cap? 90? Okay, he's still got a decent respect amount for his capital. Green is allowed to hold Eastern Europe. Not my problem. I am now guaranteed a plus 13 bonus. And I'm being allowed to hold this plus 6 in conjunction with that. We have 37 territories. It is an extra 13 plus the 3 caps. It's an extra 6. So that's 19, we said 13, 32, 38. Plus we have a 45 trade this turn. That number of 38 might be diminishing. Nine troops, interesting. He did set. Because he's on the same cards as everyone else, the same number of cards as everyone else. Now, is that just to take out red? I would not be surprised if that just exists to take out red up here. Yeah, he lost his capital stuff. Holy hell, we did not miss that. White lost his capital. Okay. This here is precisely why you don't... If you have the choice, don't block in your capitals. When red attacked here instead of here, it was better. Because... Oh, we didn't, didn't get as many as I thought. Oh, well. Right. Uh, stop talking. Start thinking. Red. We need nine up here. And the rest in here. And a joker. That means guaranteed trade this turn. We are going to split. We're going to put slightly less on our new card. We're going to put slightly more on the old one. Because the old one is more important. Now, if someone wants to break me in Orient, they can. That will also be signing the death warrant. We still have two... Well, one open cap, guaranteed. And potentially a second, if white hits further. Green gets his card. So with us only being four cards, everyone else is only on three after this. White's the easier kill, right? White's the much easier kill. And then we can just kind of trap in green. Which means that we need to get prepared to break green. Um, I'm not going to open up from this side. I like this cat being open. This cat being open to green is perfect for me. As soon as white's dead, this cat can come charging through. White botted, I think. Or they were French and chose to surrender. Either way. I don't think they're giving us an extra card, and I don't think it matters. I think they're the easier kill still. Don't open up our cap, which is slightly annoying. It's only one of the two cards, we shall see. Yeah, we, so we know here that's a 71 cap. That's going to be difficult. Oh, we don't even have to use the Joker, that's so good. Uh, we'll get the extra troops on this number because we want to put some there just to... Give it a little like Terrence tax and do much. We need, I think, only 16 to take a 10. We put a couple extra in there, and the rest are going up here because green has stayed in the game. Oh wait, that's not a 10. Oh. That's a 10. Ooh, we get lucky too. Isn't that fun? We're getting lucky. Oh, we can roll the one. Let's go back. Uh, slides anymore. Uh, that's kind of on them. 
<laughs> okay, I thought we might need more, we didn't. Green just says good game. And we will give him a good game too, because I think we're pretty done. Do they have set on three, or do they just accept they have second? They're going to fight for it, which I respect. You've got to respect someone who fights for it. Nope. They're just going to make me hit them. Okay. We can do that too. Again, not needing... Okay, this game, our cards have been so nice to us. I don't really matter where they use. go. Uh, right. We need three here. We need eight, nine here, in case we lose one in that fight. And then uh, we're also going to put three here. And the rest can go here. We are just stronger. Now I'll put the troops where we can see them. We can go through with our cap if we need to. If he has trade on four, he gets a 60 trade. Ah, gentlemen. Nope, you, you're dead anyway. Good game, good game, good game. Why, don't, why not just move them off cap, you know? Right, we're going to take the world conquest because he didn't move them off cap. That's on him. You know? That's 100%. We give him a good game. A well played. And a seal. Now that is lovely. In that game we defeated Orange, an expert in Greece. Red, the master in New Corner. Green, the intermediate. White, the beginner in New Corner. And black, the bot, who is an intermediate. Okay. <coughs> Tokens back. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Still an expert. And after that game, we are now 8 and 9. Getting near 500. That's good. Um, There's not too much to talk about with that game, if I'm honest. I mean, we took our bonus turn one which is always strong if you can take bonus turn one in this mode it's super super strong but after that it kind of just fell into our hands we didn't have to work too hard for it didn't have much of a challenge didn't have much pushback so i guess you know, if you see an unstoppable force i guess it's up to you if you want to fight for second if you want to fight for first in that game they decided to fight for second and they didn't do it very well. Anyway, GG's, chain your kills, and good luck in the games.